debt-based economy can no longer sustain itself. We live in a society where our governments, businesses, and people live in debt. We have gotten to the point where our debt is exchanged and traded. Mathematically, if you eliminate all debt from the world, there wouldn't be a cent in circulation. As most of our debt today is created digitally, We can bank online, we can govern online, we need only administrators. Imagine how much money a society could save by replacing the current false representing and self-serving governments with self-representation by the people or citizens. Today we have governments that have parties of millionaires and billionaires that represent themselves and business interests. At the very least we should have a government who accurately represents the citizens. Huge segments of our populations are just left out. There should be just as much variety in our government representatives as there is in our society. Government should work for the people. But I would argue in this day and age, people can represent themselves. Absolutely every level of government can be self-representing because of the internet, because of our technology. We would always need administrators, generals, soldiers, government employees. But even this need would lessen over time. Once we the people, the citizens, have replaced the governments with self-representation from the society, from us, we can now adjust and realign our economies and our use of money. Today, workers are being slowly phased out and replaced with robotics and automation. Left unchecked, this situation will make our world worse over time, as more and more people lose their livelihoods and have no income or enough assistance to afford basic needs. Likewise, as businesses replace human resources with automation and robotics, they remove the burden of labor cost, but they also remove the source of sales and income from the people. The situation as we see it and know it today can't possibly sustain itself, if left unchecked and will only worsen over time. Costs go up, incomes go down, or they're eliminated, and the entire process implodes leaving people starving and homeless with companies bankrupt. Companies at this point need to have an incentive to replace human resources with automation and robotics. Wait, hear me out. We now have an efficient and impactful self-representing government which does not waste money in any way. As we give incentive to the company to automate we also increase taxes it pays to the government and increase things like sales taxes and property tax. As this process is evolved and continued over time, the government would introduce a living wage to the shareholders of its corporation, us, the people. As the process is made more efficient, the company shareholders, the government, or the people, all benefit while reducing the workload or slavery. Try to understand, when you pay taxes like we do right now on our income and are worked like a dog, it is slavery. We would always have degrees of wealth and always reward innovation, creativity, and science, all of which are lacking or hindered in the current model we have today. People would always style hair, make designer clothing, or create art and literature. Entertaining ourselves and the exchange of that entertainment would be the new model and reward. Over time, the need for the exchange of money might just be eliminated as automation of resources and government are all branches of the same tree, people. We may indeed choose someday
to just eliminate the transfer or the cycle. Spanning generations, ownership as we see it today might be a thing of the past in our distant, but not very far off future. We may build things that last beyond warranty and be productive and happy people. Not because we have to, but because we want to. Human beings are not ants. They are not working horses or slaves. The human being needs to be free and creative to thrive and evolve. The government, money, and work as you know it is all cleverly designed to restrict and control your freedom and creativity. There is more than one way to maintain the cycle of the economy. Economy does not have to be the cycle of paper money. Human beings can govern, manage, and represent themselves, our government, and our businesses. As money is eliminated, the need to own everything in our lives will also diminish, and we would have more time to stop and smell the roses. People would be free to move around and truly explore and enjoy this remarkable world. Compassion and family values would again assume authority, and people have always policed themselves. Communities would grow and evolve to be life centers, not energy extractors. As human beings continue to improve and enhance the model in which they live, their creativity and innovation will emerge like no other time. People will always entertain themselves or keep busy, but it will be more meaningful and more importantly, their choice. Things like reputation and stature will become the new currency as we will always have fame, even if we eliminate the fortune. Imagine how far we could go without the burdens of our current world. If you can bank online, you can govern yourselves online. We need administrators only. We should start this process here. Once you govern yourselves and reorganize the transfer or cycle of money, you will flourish. The human race will evolve faster, and we as a society will reach our true potential. Humans should be the caretakers of this world. 